Have you wondered how people wrote long ago before the invention of the pen? They used stone, clay, quills or twigs to write. Let's listen to how writing materials became better through the ages. The reed pen. The Egyptians discovered papyrus in the ancient times. Papyrus was a material similar to thick paper which was used as a writing surface. So the need for a pen developed. They created a reed pen out of a single reed straw or the length of a bamboo. One end of this pen was sharpened into the shape of a pen's nib. The quill pen. The quill pen was invented in Spain. It was made from a quill or feather from birds like swans, geese and turkeys. The quill pen made of a goose feather was cheaper, while the quill pen made of a swan feather was expensive. The feathers were completely dried so that there was no oil present in them. The end of the quill was sharpened with a knife to make the tip of the pen. The steel point pen. John Mitchell from Birmingham invented the machine-made steel point pen. It was also known as the dip pen. This pen was similar to the quill pen, but it was much cheaper and sturdier. The fountain pen. Although the dip pen made writing smoother and faster, it was time-consuming to constantly dip the pen in ink and write. This led to the invention of the fountain pen by a Roman inventor. This pen had an ink barrel where ink could be stored to write. The ballpoint pen. The American inventor John J. Loud invented the ballpoint pen, but the ink flow was not perfect. After many decades, Biro, a Hungarian journalist, decided to use quick dry ink and introduced a small metal ball that rotated at the tip of the pen which prevented the ink from drying and also distributed it smoothly while writing. This was the long journey of the pen. Pens are easily available nowadays as different types such as the ballpoint pen, the fountain pen, the gel pen, marker pen or the electronic pens, the stylus. Keep writing!